Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a brand new perfume to review for you, the new Ariana Grande God Is A Woman. This has been out in the US for a few weeks, but it comes out here in the UK this week. But I was at an event last night with the fragrance shop who are launching this next week in the UK and they've kindly given me this sample. So I have it here before anyone else in the UK, which is super exciting. You can pre-order it on their website, so I'll leave the link below. And I'm gonna compare it to Ariana Grande Cloud, which is her best-selling perfume. If you are new here, then hello and welcome. I have hundreds of other perfume reviews, including a review of the REM perfume that she brought out last year. So I'll leave that link down below. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. And you can support me by signing up to my newsletter, link in the description, and join as a channel member as well. And as always, I will leave the links to where you can get these perfumes in UK, Europe, North America and um, including that link to pre-order this for the UK. Cool so obviously God in a Woman, God in a Woman? God is a Woman is named after her song You Believe God is a Woman. Uh, doesn't really sound like that, I'm not really good at singing. Um, and it comes in this interesting rectangular bottle. All her perfumes um, recently have all come like cloud in these um, sort of circular bottles with these attachments underneath. The cloud one fits into it very well and yesterday at the event I tried the 100 mil and the um, plastic outside attachment was very snug. I have here the 30 mil and it is a bit rattly which is also something I found with the REM perfume as well. So if you want it to be snug, I recommend getting that bigger size. But I think what is good about these, like the fact that it comes apart is that, you know, you could take that and if you needed to put it in your handbag or whatever, makes it nice and slim and like carryable, and then you can put it back in its little container on your dressing table. So in terms of the fragrance, it actually reminds me of Cloud and the REM fragrance as well. So there's a little bit of pear in here, which you do definitely get, but you immediately get this musky note. It's called Musk Mallow um, Ambrette, I think. It's from a flower and it makes this musky note. It, in the past, perfumes would use animal musk, but we don't use that anymore. Instead, they use this, this flower that makes this musky scent. And it's something that she's used in a number of perfumes. And it really does give that signature warm, Ariana Grande scent, which really does remind me of Cloud. Because it has those pear notes in, it also reminded me a bit of R.E.M. as well. It also has a slightly woody base, just the same as Cloud. But what this doesn't have that Cloud has is that really intense sweetness. So some people find Cloud too sweet. So if you want that warm, cozy, mellowy, musky feeling, but you don't want the sweetness of Cloud, then I think this one is for you. But I do think if you like Cloud, then you'll like this. In terms of lasting power, I did find it was pretty good. I wore it, um, you know, I tried it yesterday and many hours later I could still smell it on my wrist. Um, and I think a good few sprays of this and you'd really have the fragrance all around you. Personally, I would say that this was um, definitely good for evenings. For the daytime, I'd probably say more autumn winter because it is quite strong and that sort of musky, cozy vibe is what you want when the weather's cold. You know, it's not fresh or fruity or anything like you might want in the summer. So I'd say it's more like a sexy, warm, musky scent. The packaging and everything is really cute. It's got this whole like purple floral vibe and it is an Eau de Parfum. The only thing I've, I noticed is on the um, promotional materials, the picture of Ariana Grande in the, sort of lying in the meadow. I feel like she's so skinny. Um, her, I feel like her boobs have been photoshopped to look much bigger than they actually are. Like she's not someone with big boobs, but on here, they look absolutely massive. I'm sure she had nothing to do with that, right? But that just kind of annoyed me. Obviously, a lot of her fans are quite young girls and it's like promoting that unattainable big boobs 
in really thin waist look so I wish they hadn't done that um, but in terms of the perfume itself um, definitely Soaky approved it is a good one if you like cloud give it a try good for lasting and it's going to be good for the autumn winter season if I compare it directly to cloud so it definitely has I'd say at least 60% of the fragrance is the same it smells the same to me but what cloud also has is a bit of a lavender vibe in it as well and of course you've got that praline and whipped cream that comes through which make it a bit sweet so cloud is a little bit more floral i'd say whereas god is the woman is much more cleaner mask simpler mask mm, yeah the whipped cream's coming through so i think this one cloud is a little bit more sexy than god is a woman because of that sweetness um whereas god is a woman is perhaps a little bit more sophisticated clean cozy vibe um, but they are broadly quite similar this is just sweeter I do know that they have released a cloud intense version in the US not released here in Europe and um, but I am looking out for it hopefully it will be released here in the next few months and of course I will get it and review it for you I do have an article on my website that takes you through every Ariana Grande perfume and the difference between them and the different gift sets you can get so I'll leave that link below if you want to check out the whole range but guys let me know which do you prefer cloud or the new god is a woman if you're in the us and you've cloud you've tried cloud intense let me know in the comments what it's like do you prefer it to the original can't wait to try it and yeah and you can pre-order this now from the fragrance shop so i'll leave that link and um, but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always and i will see you in the next video bye